walkthrough tour of the Bahia Principe Luxury Acumal Resorts in Riviera Maya, plus a little bit of an honest review so you guys know what to expect when coming here. So I started doing these walkthrough tours because I used to go to all these resorts, and I still do. Once I get there, I get lost. So I started making these walkthrough videos so that way when you guys get here you know exactly where certain things are where to go and you are familiar with the layout of the resort i used to spend the first couple of days going to a resort and basically getting lost <laughs> um so these are really really helpful for my viewers and one of my most watched um, video series for that so in the lobby, we are going toward the left to begin with. So there is upstairs right there. When you go down those stairs, I went down there just for you guys. And there's literally nothing besides some bathrooms and what looked like maybe a hair salon, but it was not active. So going this way, there is another bathroom right here for you guys as well, is where you are going to find the store, the general store that basically had anything you wanted from clothes to souvenirs to snacks, um, some American snacks, Poland spring water, which I haven't seen in Mexico. So definitely check that out. If you need anything, don't worry. There is stuff there. So right there was the buffet. That is the main buffet area, which I do have a full video of the food at the Bahia Principe Luxury Acumal coming soon. So make sure you subscribe and you stay tuned for that. So here is where the Italian restaurant is at night. You do have to make reservations for this but for breakfast and lunch they do actually open up this portion so that way there's additional seating for the breakfast buffet right now we are back at the lobby so that way again you guys know main key points or main areas landmarks where things are so to the left that is what was there now we are going to what would be the right of the lobby there you can see every you know all of the employees that is where you would be going to check in and if you need anything and to the right now is where you will find a cafe and all of the nightly entertainment for the luxury akumal so straight ahead is the theater but we're going to hook a right and here on the right, you will see this board and you can check it out every day or when you guys check in and that will tell you the events for the entire week. Now here is um, it's called Pakal and this is the sports bar and little game area. And it was actually really cool and everything was brand new, uh, you know, Adults and kids were having fun in there. The sports bar was definitely always crowded, but was a really good time. And they did have live bands. So leaving out of there, we are now walking back towards where the theater is and that cafe that I was talking about. So we're going to hook a right. And this is where the main theater theater is now every night there is something going on um just to note that sometimes for some of the shows you do have to book them in advance i didn't know that so um you would want to book that because there is long lines just an fyi and here is where the cafe is. I really liked this because you can get some fresh waters if you're just thirsty. There is coffee, teas, and then in that little showcase right there, which they don't have anything right now because it was very early when I got here and I started filming right away. Um, but they do have ice creams and they have little cheesecakes and stuff. And in the cafe also, they do sell, um, you know, Mexican coffee that you can purchase to um you know take with you back to home or you know where you're from and here is just a little lounge area to the right there was a little stand where you can get more cups and there's um tea bags for the tea and everything else so that is basically the main portion there is a jewelry store in the main lobby and also where you can book excursions but you can really book excursions anywhere throughout um you know the resort 
So as you can see, I was here during Christmas time and let me tell you, they did such an amazing job, you know, just decorating everything. It was really beautiful. So here is where the main pool area is. This entire main area was and is massive. So there's tons of seats that you could see right in front of us. And at night, you can see that little stage, that black stage right in front of us. They did have singers, they had mariachi bands. So outside of the theater, there was still some nightly entertainment that was going on. You can see the lights all around here. So they had it all lit up. The, the pool was lit up. It was super beautiful at night. So there is still something to do out here and you can see all the chairs. You can grab a drink and just hang out here as you can see that I was pointing to it. So what I'm going to do now is kind of a 360 around the pool so you can kind of get a feel of where everything is. Straightforward is where the buffet is and there is an outside seating area which I really liked. So as you can see here, they're doing morning water aerobics, which I really liked. This main pool area always had something going on, and that's the main pool bar right there. And that is open until 11 p.m. Um, every day. So that way, if you guys want to just hang out outside, you saw those tables um, you know, and chairs, you can absolutely do that. So we hooked a left, as you um, saw. And this is where you are going to fall onto the Bahia Spa. So if you guys wanted a nice massage, a couple's massage, <clears throat> excuse me, this is exactly where you would go to get that. And right on top of it is the buffet again. Those seats by the window were my absolute favorite. And it is, you know, where I would sit every single day. Now, as you can see, it's pretty um, early in the morning, but there's still a lot of activity going on. And to the left here is also another specialty restaurant at night, and that is the Mexican restaurant, just so you guys are aware. So now I just continued walking forward, and now we are going on to the actual beach. What you saw there was all the beach chairs and umbrellas which um, you know are packed out. As I was saying, being so early, it was still so packed out. Um, which, you know, it, it was very busy here, but it didn't feel like smothering. Like it didn't feel like it was super, super crazy overcrowded. Um, even though you can see how there is just so many people here right now in Mexico, it is high season, but the resort itself still, as much as there was a lot of people, it never felt super crammed. So, um, here they also have other activities in the morning. As you can see, they're dancing around. They were doing Zumba. My favorite thing was these pelicans right here. There was pelicans all throughout, um, you know, the beach on the resort, which is just super awesome to see. You would see them diving into the water. Super fun. So now we went back where we were, um, you know, by the beach area. And this is all, um, the 360 kind of around the main pool the whole beach area now we're leaving that and now this is the view from the beach of the resort facing what would be like the main lobby so again we're going to be kind of doing a 360 so you could see all around um and then where things would lead to but there's also little um you know tiny little walking bridges that connect um, you know, one side to another so you can get all around the pool without having to do this 360 walk that I'm doing. But again, this was just so you can see kind of where everything is and what's available. Like you can see right now that there's a jacuzzi and um, there's not just one, there's couple in the back section of the pool. It's still connected with the pool, but if you guys want a little spa feel and relax, that is definitely where you are going to be coming, and it's in the back portion closer to where um, the beach is. So we're continuing on. You can see that little bridge that I was talking about. So again, you don't have to walk all the way around this massive pool uh, to get back to the main lobby or maybe get to the spa. You can do that straight through here. Now there also was waiter service throughout the entire day. So you didn't have to always walk all the way to the other side to go get a drink. Um, you know, there was a lot of staff that was helping and getting drinks which I really appreciated for the obvious reasons that we are on vacation and we want to relax. So right here is another station. And again, you'll see these everywhere that you are going to be able to book for excursions. 
Um, so I did look at the prices and seeing that I live in Mexico, um, the prices were actually reasonable for, you know, quote unquote, tourist prices or resort prices, I guess you can say is um, a better term. And, um, but you know, always try to just see if they could do anything better for you. There's no shame in asking, um, you know, if they can. Straight ahead was the swim up bar. That is really where I spent a lot of my time. That is one of my favorite features when I come to any resort is um, hanging out at the swim up bar. So now we are coming to the end of the main pool and we are gonna start walking towards um, you know, the actual buildings of the rooms. But before we do, we're going to hit this kids area. So uh, again, it was really early, but when the uh, day progresses, you will see a lot of kids down here playing and there is staff members that are watching them, babysitting, playing with them. And up here is the actual program for the kids club and it's up there all the time so you guys can take a look. And then um, to the right here is the entrance for the kids club, but this is actually connected to the theater and there is an extra bathroom up there. So if you guys are obviously spending the whole day at the pool, there is a bathroom on this side as well, not just the bathroom that is near the bar area. Just so you guys are aware again of some key, um, you know, places, I guess that would be helpful for you during your stay. So right now, we are hitting the first batch of buildings and you will see to the left here that there is signs and these signs will point you into the right direction of where you are going and then also the red sign is all of the building numbers so you know as soon as you guys get here you will be able to figure that out but there is also golf carts that would bring you to your um, rooms anyways upon check-in with your luggage so don't worry about um, you know thinking you have to walk you can see one right in front of us uh, down there you know bringing some some guests around so and it will pass us right now and here <clears throat> excuse me again here is actually the premium section so this is where premium members have their own little area and those tents are actually if anyone wanted to reserve a special couple's dinner that sign love at night was absolutely so beautiful it was lit up definitely got pictures of that and here we fall onto another specialty restaurant this is frutas del mar which is a seafood restaurant and let me tell you something that was probably my favorite dinner from the luxury akumal that i had during my stay everything was just so good now as i'm zooming in please pay attention to that flag that is a red flag, meaning that you should not swim on days that have a red flag. I make it a point to say this in almost all of my videos because unfortunately when I was at a resort last year, um, someone did not uh, notice the flag and there was um, an accident that happened. So I really, really make it a mission of mine to focus on the flags at the resorts and for any of my viewers if i can at least you know warn one person for me that i have done um, my duty and i have done what um, i feel is necessary and that is to make sure that you guys are aware about the colored flags when you come to the resorts the ocean it's beautiful but you do have to respect it so if there is a red flag please do not attempt to swim um, so now this is the second pool area and it's right by Frutas de Mar as we, you know, we passed by and this is the walking area towards it. There is a jacuzzi area in this pool as well. This one doesn't have entertainment. It's like just super chill, relax. Like if, you know, someone or you guys or anyone just wants more of quiet time. Straight ahead is actually another specialty restaurant that is connected to Frutas del Mar. And that used to be the Italian restaurant, but now they converted it to the steakhouse at Luxury Acumal. And to be quite honest, guys, I didn't really enjoy my meal that much. I will give a more of an honest review in my food video about the food at, um, you know, Bahia Principe Luxury Acumal. But, um, you know, it was still a nice experience. It was still a fine dining experience. So I still enjoyed, um, you know, the evening out. 
So here, right here, is actually the brand new snack bar that they just built. And um, it was absolutely beautiful and clean inside. You will get to see it in the food video. And this is open up until about 6 p.m. from like 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And there's a bunch of stuff and the food looked really good, really clean here. And it has a little bit for everyone. It has fried food, it has burgers, it has um, salads, it had some sushi, and then it had, you know, some light desserts. So definitely something, you know, nice to just go and get a lunch if you don't want to go to the main buffet. So the luxury Akumal is all across the um, coastline, which is really beautiful. And there is always kind of something, you know, even to just, as you saw that bench there, that you could sit and you could just watch the ocean, um, which I just really enjoyed. I would get hit with that sea salt smell first thing in the morning, and it would just make me so happy to be able to smell the ocean as soon as I, um, you know, stepped foot outside of the building. So that is really my favorite thing, is always going to resorts that are, um, you know, seaside here this is where you would go if you were a premium member you can go to sign up to be a premium member and they do have separate amenities in this building so moving forward now this is now we're really just getting into the main buildings and this is where the adult section is so at that point i am going to end the video because i am making a separate section just for the adults um, side thank you for watching